Hello everyone. Today we want to start a long journey in GTP protocol. In this trip, we want to try to visit a list of significant factors to deep dive into GTP for knowing more. My name is Azar Hosseini and I have almost 12 years experience in analyzing abnormal and suspicious logs in many sec security operation centers. During these years, I have been familiar with vulnerabilities, attacks, rules, various detection methods, and so on. If you are eager to know more, please follow me in YouTube. So what is JTP protocol? Where does it use? Which generation from 2G to 5G use it? Which interfaces and devices and related vendors are defined? Or how can we explain the cooperation of this protocol with the others? And then approach the most enjoyable part of this journey. Sample logs, remarkable features, big points in telecommunication network, and vulnerabilities of this protocol. At the end of this journey, we can know how can we monitor and what are attack scenarios to respond immediately and cover disaster. What is JTP? JTP is GPRS Tunneling Protocol. This protocol plays a key role for sending your data and signaling messages from mobile network to external network. It can be found in network uh, generation 2G, 3G, and 4G, and sometimes we can see the vulnerabilities of this protocol in 5G. In 3G, we have some nodes such as SGSN, Serving GPRS Support Node, and GGSN Gateway GPRS Support Node, for transferring user data and signaling messages. But what's different between two channels? User data can be explained as your context, images, videos, and everything that you want to send to your destination, like your friends, like emails, and the other ones. But signaling messages uh, is such a kind of channel to provide a reliable path for sending your data. And in 4G, we have different nodes. For example, SGW Serving Gateway plays in a set of SGSN and a PDN Gateway, Packet Data Network Gateway, uh, can be used in a set of GGSN. And the context of these two uh, working uh, for GTP protocol is similar. Which generation does it have? As I mentioned in previous slides, we can find GTP protocol in 2G, 3G, and 4G. But how about 5G? How can we find it? Although there have been significant architectural changes in the, in the core and network and interfaces of 5G uh, generation, but we can see that some kinds of vulnerabilities of G uh, GTP protocol in 5G, but with different nodes and with different interfaces. What's this shape? In this uh, map, we try to gather all 2.5G GPRS network, 3G and plus 4G in one shape. For example, this uh, line is related to 2G GPRS network. The nodes interfaces that are related working with each other to send user data and signaling messages from UE or MS to 3 points of network internet, GRX IPX, and VPN external network. Okay, and uh, what's this one? 3G, uh, which nodes can be used and uh, which uh, interfaces are really important, can be um, scrutinized more in next slides. And what is this? Is it 4G? 4G can be transfer signaling messages, GTPS, GTPC, from UE to 
these kinds of network. Just uh, summarize this picture and print it uh, and bring it uh, with yourself uh, for trying more details in next slides uh, for monitoring different logs from different nodes. These kinds of rotor and switches can gather the logs of related to this protocol. But uh, what are these can be explained more in future. And this picture. This image showed the integrated 5G and 4G network. For example, that is 4G nodes and interfaces and how can we switch between 4G and 5G to transfer messages and user data in GTP protocol by GTPC and GTPU messages. Now it is time to know which interfaces deal with GTP protocol. First of all, please start with GN interface. The main factor that you don't that you cannot forget it. Uh, it is used in 3G UMTS network, but how can we use it? Suppose you have the mobile and want to use RAN network, BTS, BSC, and then connect to 3G network. After this, you have three network, internet, GRX, IPX, and VPN, Extranet. So, uh, how can we use it? We, uh, where is this uh, interface? When we want to connect SGSN to GGSN in 3G, we use two messages, GTPU and GTPC. GTPU carries your data and GTPC carries your signal messages. And when we want to hand over from first SGSN to second SGSN, in this case, we need GN interface also. Let me show this interface in big map. In this map, we can see that we use a mobile that want to use 2G or 2.5G GPRS network or 3G UMTS network. In 3G, you want to connect with UT RAN to SGSN node and then to second SGSN, third SGSN, and then GGSN. After all, you want to connect to internet, GRX IPX, or VPN XML network. So, uh, which interface can uh, follow your message? First of all, GGSN to next GGSN, GN interface. GGSN, SGSN to third SGSN, GN interface. SGSN to the last node, GGSN, use GN interface. And then, you can connect to the next network. The second interface is GP and GTP network. As previous, uh, we should know that this interface is used in 3G network for connecting to GGSN's nodes. As you remember, when we want to connect from SGSN to 
GGSM, uh, we used GN interface. But when we want to connect GRX IPX network, then second GGSM and then internet. Uh, when we want to have interconnection between two GGSM, we have uh, a, a kind of interface which named GP. Let me show it in big map. In this map, we have MS which want to connect to the internet. But internet is uh, true after GRX IPX and second GGSN. So first GGSN for connecting to the second GGSN use this interface GP. Now we want to explain about GC interface in GTP protocol. First of all, don't forget it is in 2G GSM networks. An interaction between 2G and 2.G. 2G is the GSM network. 2.5G is the GPRS network. So if we want to support um, GPRS network in GSM, we need these kinds of in interface. So uh, first you should suppose have your mobile that wants to use RAN network and then SGSN point between GSN and three networks that are mentioned before but where is this? It connected to the other nodes in 2G network uh, which name MSC. MSC is the mobile switching center uh, which equipped with VLR to verify some numbers or uh, some identification from the MS mobile system. And the other nodes that can be interact with SGSM node is HLR. Uh, these kinds of uh, nodes uh, to verify or uh, have a, a database to uh, compare some uh, identification number of the MS to uh, prove that it, uh, this uh, subscriber is uh, reliable or not. Okay, uh, which interface can uh, help us to connect with these nodes? Here we need GC interface. And this one was GN network, GN interface. Uh, let me show in big map. In this map, we have 2G interface that wants to connect MS among BASS station to MS, C, VLR, and HLR node. So how can we use it? First of all, it uh, sends its node, its uh, messages to SGSN and then uh, forwarded to MSC. But which nodes, which messages? The messages of the user data are sent to the uh, SGSN and then forward to uh, GGSN and then forward to Internet. But uh, now how can we use signaling messages? Signaling messages are sent directly to MSC, VLR and HLR, and then uh, written their response to the SGSN by this interface, GC. Thank you for hearing me. And in next part, I will summarize this session plus rest of the factors. You can send your questions to my email and LinkedIn profile. Thank you.